The U.S. military has restarted a program to acquire a new fighter-sized stealthy target drone that can serve as a stand-in for advanced adversary combat jets like the Chinese J-20 and the Russian Su-57, and their electronic warfare capabilities in particular. There is a growing demand to replicate these types of high-end aerial threats in training exercises and test and evaluation events, and in some cases, doing so cheaply enough that the mock opponents can be destroyed if desired. Broadly speaking, the U.S. military uses aerial target drones to test and evaluate weapons and other systems, including air-to-air -air and surface-to-air missiles, as well as countermeasures, radars, and other sensors. They can simulate different kinds of threats for training purposes, too. The design of the drone that Advanced Technology International and Sierra Technical Services are now set to supply will be a refined version of one that the latter company developed under a previous iteration of the 5GAT program. That effort was shelved in 2020 after the initial prototype was totally destroyed in a crash during its maiden flight. The air vehicle was lost during its maiden flight test as the result of an undiscovered software error according to the announcement about the award of the new 5 GAT contract. However, the combined system successfully met all ground test objectives, and the aircraft configuration and overall design is sick, still considered to be sound. Sierra Technical Services' original design, the development of which dates all the way back to 2006, is understood to have been dimensionally similar and to have had roughly the same gross weight as a T-38 Talon jet trainer. It was powered by a pair of General Electric J-85 turbojet engines, the same type used on the T-38. Additional components reportedly came from F-5 and F-A-18 fighters. It was expected to be able to fly at least at high subsonic speeds and possibly even go supersonic, as well as a very high degree of maneuverability. The initial 5GAT prototype had a long nose section, rear position diamond-shaped wings and intakes, and tricycle landing gear, and was designed to take off and land like a traditional aircraft. It also had a number of stealthy features, including a chine forward fuselage, honeycomb composite structures used in its construction, snaking intakes to hide the radar-reflecting fan faces of its J85 engines, and sawtoothed engine exhausts. As originally designed, the 5GAT drone would be able to carry various payloads, including sensors, electronic warfare suites, and expendable countermeasures internally, as well as various stories externally. Stores loaded under its wings would, of course, negatively impact its stealthy characteristics. Over the past 15 years, the government has investigated various aircraft configurations and legacy engine options that could be combined to produce an affordable 5GAT. The notice about the new 5GAT contract award explains. The U.S. military has used aerial targets for over 50 years to test and improve the lethality of their weapon systems. The purpose of aerial targets is to replicate critical characteristics of threat aircraft, such as performance, signature, and countermeasures. These target aircraft must represent the threat throughout an engagement, e. from initial acquisition until missile impact and hence the target is often destroyed after completing only a few tests, it continues. To contain costs for these limited lifetime assets, unmanned versions of retired fighter aircraft have previously been employed for this mission. However, due to the increased cost and lifespan of the latest fifth generation of fighter aircraft, there are no retired airframes available that adequately represent the characteristics of fifth generation threats. Key amongst these characteristics is size, signature, and electronic attack EA payloads. It is worth noting here that the U.S. Air Force does employ a pocket fleet of F-117 Nighthawk stealth jets, which are officially retired, to represent higher and low observable, stealthy threats during training exercises and for test and evaluation purposes. At the same time, those are first-generation stealth aircraft. It is also very unlikely that they would ever be subjected to destructive aerial testing for operational security and environmental reasons. The Air Force has been winding down conversions of older S-16 Vipers into QF-16 target drones due to dwindling stocks of suitable retired airframes and a surge in operational demand within the service for modernized Vipers. A more capable, high-end threat representative airframe will be needed in the future 
and that will be unmanned. The U.S. military already uses drones and even converted missiles to replicate various tiers of aerial threats, not just higher-end ones. Though the rebooted 5GAT program is focused primarily on supporting test and evaluation efforts, the U.S. military has a definite need for similar advanced aerial targets for use in training exercises. Beyond the kinds of threats advanced target drones can replicate, their lower unit purchase and operating costs compared to actual fifth-generation fighters offer significant benefits when it comes to fielding them in large numbers. In recent years, U.S. aerial combat exercises have increasingly involved scenarios involving larger-scale operations across broader areas, as well as higher-end threats. This reflects the U.S. military's shift in focus to preparing for a future major conflict against a near-peer opponent, especially China. However, the new 5GAT program progresses now. There is already a clear need for advanced fifth-generation representative target drones, which is only set to grow in the near future. If you enjoy content like this, please like and subscribe this video as I appreciate all your support.